Well, it's the first official day of winter, but we've already seen snowy conditions for weeks now. With possible lowland snow and more mountain snow in the forecast this week, people are urged to drive with caution. Fox 13's Aliana Gomez got to see what a snowy day is like for tow truck drivers who spend hours rescuing people who often leave home unprepared. It's a holiday week. A lot of people are out of work. Kids are out of school. So what do you want to do? You want to load up your truck and get in with your family and head up to the mountain passes. But experts say you got to make sure you're prepared and have everything you need to dig yourself out. Because guess what? There might not be help on the way. I don't know what's going to happen up here on a snowy day. Wintry conditions can cripple drivers on I-90 heading to the mountain passes. Even the most experienced drivers, like tow truck operator Dallas Clark. Gonna be a little bucky there. We took a ride with Todd's towing from North Bend to Snoqualmie Pass after a full day Monday of nonstop calls for spinouts and accidents. Been slammed um, yesterday. My morning started at 5:30. We didn't come off the hill until about 5:30 that night. Driver fatigue and a driver shortage, he says, is stopping many tow companies from being able to rescue every stranded vehicle, especially late at night. The shortage of troopers and the shortage of DOT, that's really having its toll on trying to keep this highway open. Which is why drivers need to be proactive. Packing the essentials like food, water, a full tank of gas, and a shovel are important. And don't remove those mats. They could come in handy. A lot of people say that the floor mats can help. Obviously, this is cloth on one side and rubber on another side. Some people say rubber is better, but because this has the grip, is that, does that it's, work out pretty well? It's a catch-22 because, you know, it, it's on what you're stuck on. That's really what it comes down to. If you're stuck on like this right here where it's just kind of slick and you're spun on the slickness, absolutely. You're going to be able to throw that under and you're going to get your traction to at least move forward and get going. I'd put the spikes down okay. because, see, it, it wants to grab the ground more. Okay. Any more than a couple inches of snow, you'll need tire chains, but buyer beware. One of the most common calls yesterday was my chains are tangled around my axle and I don't know what to do. This driver put their chains on incorrectly and paid the price. If you chain up correctly, they should make no noise. All in all, if you're going to head up to the passes anyway, experts say the best advice they have is to check DOT. Make sure you know the travel conditions before you head out. Make sure you have chains on your tires if you need them, especially. And best advice, most important piece, do not travel on the roads at night because there may not be somebody there to help pull you out. Reporting in Snoqualmie Pass, Aliana Gomez, Fox 13 News. Well, a reminder to drivers, Washington State Patrol does enforce the slow down or move over law. Tow truck drivers say they're putting their lives on the line to rescue people, but fail to see other drivers moving over to avoid a possible collision.